Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Best Investing Money Management Channel on YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the top five stocks to fight inflation. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, concerns, make sure you guys ask them down in the comments. So starting off, kind of what's been going on, right? What's been going on with inflation? Well, looking at this chart of the current inflation rates from 2000 to 2022, you guys can see that right now in 2022, we have an inflation inflation rate of about 9.1%, which is terrible, right? Meaning you're losing spending power, investments get more volatile. And in 2021, inflation rate was 7%. Now in 2020, it was 1.4%, 2019, 23 2018, 1.9. The average inflation rate for a healthy economy is right at about 2%. So given that right now we're doubling, tripling, quadrupling the average inflation rate for a healthy economy, and we wonder why we have a volatile market, right? But the but there is a couple of things you need to understand. Some stocks do very, very well during inflation, um, and that is oil, healthcare, and kind of companies that no matter no matter whether we're going through a recession or a bull market, they we, we have to have them. They're necessities. So oil and energy has a tendency to do very, very well during recessions and higher inflation. So given that stock number one goes without saying, it's ticker symbol XOM, also known as ExxonMobil. You guys can see that really we have an absolute beautiful upward trend through all of the high inflation rates. It hit a high of $105. We have had a little bit of some sell-off here. Now, the reason why that is is just because the market's kind of starting to level out with oil. Um, but overall, this is a great hedge to fight inflation. And looking at the chart here, you guys can see that right here is the year to date right here. So you guys can see that we are still up on the year, right? In, in January, the stock was about $59. Right now, it's 84. Comparing this to the general market, we actually have positive growth, which the general stock market's down about 20%. So stock number two is J&J, &J, also known as Johnson & Johnson. You guys will notice that there is gonna be a little more volatility, but looking at the chart, we still have a little bit of an upward trend. This is a company that does well in bull bear markets. And on top of that, you're gonna be getting a lot of dividends to start compounding your account, right? If we look at the dividend here of $1.13 per quarter, uh, you guys can start building up a passive income stream on top of that, using this to you know help build your account during these high inflation times. Alrighty guys, so stock number three is ticker symbol WM. Now this one here is waste management. So this one here, we've had a little bit of some sell-off here, but honestly, sell-off is very, very common. And on top of that, you're not selling off as much as the general stock market is. So that is a general plus as well. And on top of this, guys, this thing just kind of more consolidates and really doesn't have huge growth in a huge sell-off. It just kind of floats, right? And the reason why I love this is because you can start building your account on a little bit of the growth side because we do have that upward trend and mostly on the dividend side, right? About a 65 cent dividend per quarter. And you're not going to have to worry about this company. The reason why that is, is because they do very, very well. Looking at their past earnings, beating expectations, brought in about 4.6 billion, a surprise of about $200 million. So this company's not going anywhere anytime soon. Now the next stock number four here is Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is a stable company. You guys can see we have this absolute beautiful upper trend. And on top of that, a dividend of 44 cents per quarter and an earnings beating expectations by about $670 million and beating it on the EPS here. Dividends, uh, on top of that, Coca-Cola is what you call a dividend king. They've been growing and increasing their dividend payout for more than 50 years, which is crazy. So this is a company you don't have to worry about them shutting down their dividends anytime soon. And this is more of a value company that does well in bull bear markets. And, and you just a company you don't have to worry about. Now the next one here is ticker symbol PSA. Now this one here is also known as public storage. You guys can see that we've had a little bit of some sell off here, but this was because of the earnings. Companies have bad earnings. It just happens, right? And on top of that, you guys will notice that we've had a little bit of some sell off of this stock, but it's not as much as the general market is. Um, but the reason why I love this is because of these dividends as well, right? A dividend of $2 
per quarter. So this is a company that you will get some growth out, right? If we actually look at the long-term chart here, that sell-off just brings you know more opportunity to buy in at a more affordable price. This has an absolute beautiful upper trend. It's a dividend powerhouse, and you guys can see all it did was miss an earnings. Companies go through ups and downs, but as long as you have a long-term outlook, you will be okay, guys. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The top five stocks to fight dividends or to fight inflation. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and we will see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe. Take care.